It turned out there's a way to debug a um, phone gap app through Safari. Um, it was broken in the earlier version of Safari, but the newest one, which came out sometime this week, fixed the problem. So this get the latest Safari. That is version 6.1. So what you can do is now, let's open up my mobile phone gap application. This is our uh, database example. Actually, what you should do first is to launch the simulator by itself without any apps running. Right click on the Xcode icon and choose iOS simulator. With the iPhone simulator there isn't a Safari advanced setup for some reason. But on the iPad version there is you switch to iPad under settings Safari advance web inspector on okay now basically any apps that run in the simulator um, you can inspect in terms of using the web developer tool you can also do this on an actual device as well yeah, just turn on the web inspector so technically this will work for the iPhone simulator as well. I'm not sure why. The description is the where the iPad has it, not the iPhone. Okay, now we can just run the simulator. And in Safari, under developer, choose iPhone simulator and you can select the index.html here. Notice how it highlights the page. When you choose it, you can actually select the dome of the page and see it highlight as you can see. And that's controlled here under dome tree. We'll choose our SQL. So the script will stop, so I can't select anything because there's um, an innate error in the phone gap. App, um, phone gap script. Step through the execu execution or step over it. So just bypass the error. Just hit back for the dome tree. So here's our script for the SQL page, we can select source code instead of the dome tree. So now we can actually add breakpoints in the code itself, like I added here. So basically, when you try to execute the script, it will stop at line 47. So if I do this business it will run through um, hmm. stopped in a jQuery code for some odd reason just step to step over it so now it stopped at line 47 the cool thing is now we can actually roll over the variable to see what value it, um, it gathered from the form. We can test if the variable is defined. So that's pretty neat. We can uh, step through the execution, keep on continuing, and add it to the database. 
The other cool thing is we can actually see the database by clicking resources. We can see the database folder here. We could actually see if there's any local storage or session storage. Click in the database. Here's our demo table. And we can see what's inside. Pretty neat. So to add a breakpoint, just double click on the line number. And you can see it turn blue. And it's added to this list here. To delete, just double click or click on it and it fades out. Or to delete or to delete it altogether, just um, right click, delete breakpoint. Make sure you click on the debugger to see this breakpoints. Sometimes you need to restart the uh, the web inspector if it's not behaving what you are expecting.